The Add Boolean tool has been updated and in Blender 4.5 now supports the new manifold solver. Cycling solvers is now done by just a single E key, whereas previously it was E for exact and F for fast. But I didn't want to introduce a dedicated third and harder to reach M key for the manifold solver when you can just cycle all three with a single key instead. Finishing the tool or letting it finish automatically will then also add your Boolean cutters to a dedicated collection for the Booleans. This collection can be named however you want in the add-on preferences, or it can be disabled completely. You can also disable the automatic timer finish now, or adjust the time in seconds. When disabled, the tool will stay active until you finish it intentionally, either via the left mouse to select the cutter, or use space to hide it. I'm going to finish with the left mouse to select it, like that. Offset cut has been updated slightly, and you no longer need to enable experimental features in the add-on press to use it. The tool will be immediately shown in the menu as soon as Mesh Machine is installed. Also, when invoking the tool, the width of the offset is now initialized in a way that ensures it actually fits your selection, so it is based on the dimensions of your selected edges. Of course, you can still change it afterwards to whatever size you need in the redo panel. For example, here is a much smaller object now, and if you do another offset cut, you can see right away, the width is about right. It is now roughly 10 times smaller than what it was before. Also, if you ever notice something like this happening, usually at smaller scales, it means the cut failed. You can try to wiggle it or play with the precision and either one may work. But more often than not, the best choice is to simply switch to the exact solver. And let's go even smaller now. And yet again, the initial width of the offset is about 10 times smaller than before. You can see how at this sub-centimeter scale, the fast solver completely falls apart. And there's the suggestion to use the exact solver instead. If we go even smaller now, down to sub-millimeter cuts, the perspective view will start to clip. And so I lower the clip start value via machine tools in my case, so I can get closer to the mesh. I offset cut, and again the initial width is automatically determined to be sensible for my selection at this scale. And even at this microscopic size, the cut works with the exact solver, but then of course completely falls apart with the fast solver. Finally, if you want to continue with this, it's always a good idea to follow up with the Boolean cleanup tool, which simplifies merging situations like these. The sidebar panel has been simplified and now houses a resources subpanel as well as the get support and documentation subpanels, all of which were previously in a separate help panel. You can disable either or both in the main panel's header. And maybe you didn't know it yet, but there are two example files supplied with Mesh Machine, the plug demonstration as well as the tutorial file. In the tutorial blend, you can reproduce what I do in the various feature videos especially for the fillet tool set.